go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Okay, coming. Hey, Mom, wake up. Mm -mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been... <sighs> I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. It's been... I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom. But it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Look at the stars, Espen. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. You done, Espen? Espen? Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. Jesus, Espen, what are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. 
Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. Oh, I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay, but don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Pine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Espen? Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Espen? It's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? Espen? I hope you're not dead. Hey! Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming!
spinning. A spin! Hello? Hey! Is someone there? There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children and misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later I wasn't so sure. He must have dropped it. I'm coming, Espen! Espen loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Espen! They can't be far ahead. Shit, looks 
Looks like the old bastard pulled the bridge across. Too far to jump. I'll have to go down. Espen's flashlight. No, Espen, please don't hurt him. Please, don't you hurt him. I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. must be cold without his jacket. When I saw Espen's jacket there on the ground, it felt like something inside me broke. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He had been taken from me. His coat. His little coat lying in that dark place. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me, and I let him down, as I had so many times before. His jacket was a symbol of my failure. I promised myself I would find him and bring him back. I just hoped that was a promise I could keep. Ah, the smell. Oh, fuck. Those are human. A troll? But... Can't explain it. I can hardly believe it. 
it. But it happened. The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old shoebox at their house. I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so young and in love before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil, and I knew these pictures were not for my eyes. The island was like that. The journals, the troll, the broken moon. I wasn't supposed to see those things. I was intruding on something secret, and I didn't belong there. There's another reflector. Espen, you're alive. Don't be scared, little man. I'm coming. younger, his father did something terrible to Espen, to me, to himself. I was left all alone with a child I couldn't confide in. He didn't give me the chance to say I was sorry, and I never forgave him. But in the forest, I was alone again, desperate for the person I loved the most.
And right then, I could almost understand why Espen's father did what he did. Hello? Is someone there? Please! Hi. God damn it, talk to me. Come out. I heard you whispering. I need to find my son. God damn, where is my son? Oh, thank God. Hello? Excuse me, uh, my son's been taken, and I just... for my son. An old man with a white beard took him, and I think they came this way. Please, have you seen them? That village. And that man. The poor man. My heart was aching for Espen, but after I left the village, my heart started to harden. I was still frightened and scared. I felt small and alone, and I was also angry. This man, Eric, had taken my son. He lured Espen away while I slept, and it wasn't the first time. He had poisoned the whole island. He was dangerous. I didn't know what I was going to do when I caught up to them. I just knew I wasn't going to let this man take one more child.
picture? I couldn't have meant it. Child sacrifice? Oh my god. It's been... I have to find him.
When my father died, we buried him and we mourned him. I told Espen he was in a better place and to remember his grandfather as he was before he got sick. Who was mourning these people? Where were they remembered fondly? It seemed like the people on the island had been fighting to hold on for so long, then just let go. But I wasn't ready to let go. I wasn't ready to let Espen become a memory. down. sound.
Maybe Espen's inside. The cave was something from a nightmare. Toys and clothes strewn on the ground. Treasured items of a hundred children, more, cast away like wrapping paper. It was a tomb. A sepulcher. The terror these children must have felt. The confusion. Their only comforts torn from them. I knew then, I wasn't just going to catch up to Eric and save my son. I was going to kill him. get out of here right now. Mom. He could be back any minute. I think we just have to run. Mom. Don't want to get cornered in here. Mom, listen to me. What? We have to go. Mom, I'm not going. Huh? What do you mean? I can't go with you, Mom. I left the trail for you so I could say goodbye. Espen, you don't know what he's going to do. I've seen things, read things. I think he's going to try to... I know, Mom. I know what he's going to do. And what I have to do. Espen? He's coming. Quick, hide. You should not have come here. You took my son. You're a murderer. You take children from their homes. The fate I suffer is not one I enjoy. Nor is it one I have any choice in. The fate you suffer? What about these children? All these children? They are chosen. They must come. Some of them, like your brave son, even choose to come. They're children, you fucking monster! They should decide if they live or die! You lie to them! Lure them! I don't lie. I only tell them what must happen. There's no time for this. Sunrise draws near. Espen, we must leave. Get back! Don't you touch Mom, him! Mom, it's okay. It's going to be okay. No, don't hurt her! Run, Espen! Run! You cannot protect him any longer. Mom! Mom! No! Mom! Mom! I'm sorry.
okay. Son, I can hear you talking. Do you understand me?
you bastards. I can help you. Just let me go. Please. What say I? I have a key. I can open one of the doors. So, I can let you out of here. I just want to be left alone. Promise to let me go. You realize what this will mean for the Isle. You know our reputation. I don't give a shit about this island. I just want to find my son. Very well. We have an agreement. The key opens the door behind you. Go and open it. We will remain here. Then you leave. Huh? That's it? How do I know you won't just kill me afterwards? You don't. But neither of you have a lot of options. If you would prefer to stay here, you may. We are unable to die. So we shall see who seeds first. Besides which, we understand you have somewhere you wish to be, come set up. You may decide. Fine. If one of you comes near me, I'm going to throw this key and good luck unlocking this door with your paws. Witch in the mire? Jesus Christ, you can't be serious. to have to find another child. The mire was terrifying. The thought that Espen crossed that place made my bones cold. I missed him. The marsh sucked all the emotion out of me. I was haunted, hounded by a hopelessness I didn't understand. I forgot Espen's face. I forgot my own.
Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, oh, shit. That was me. Hello? Human, I have waited. My mistress. Jesus, what are you? How are you still alive? There is nothing left of you. I am Garm, guardian of the gate. Guardian of Hell, the Veiled Lady. I was those things. Too old, too weak, unimportant. Help me. The Veiled Lady is Hale? Are you really saying Hale is out here somewhere? I don't know how I can help you. End my suffering. My despair. You want me to kill you? I can't do that. The rock above. The spire. Bring it down upon me. Please. Thank you. God. Don't show 
told me anymore. You want a what? A divorce, God damn it! I want a divorce! Here it is at last. Fine. You're welcome to one. I'm taking us. You're not taking my son! Well, I'm not leaving him with you. You broke his arm, for Christ's sake. Why don't you stop holding that over my fucking head? It was an accident. An accident! You've looked at me every day since, like I'm some kind of monster. I'm telling you now, if you want a divorce, no. Espen is coming with me. You bitch! Please stop it! I quit. I give up. Just don't show me anymore. She's lying! I never hit her or Espen! I swear, please! Silence! Sit down now. I find in favor of the plaintiff, Miss Dahl. She shall retain sole custody of her son, Espen Dahl. The defendant shall have no visitation rights, and a permanent restraining order comes into effect immediately. You, sir, are to have no contact with your ex-wife or Espen whatsoever and must keep a minimum distance of 200 feet from them, their home, Espen's school, and her place of work. Court is adjourned. No, please, God damn it, let go of me, don't! Please, don't take him away from me. Don't take him away from me! Please, don't stop. Eric can have him. I can't. I don't want to see what comes next. Please don't. Miss Dahl, can we come in? You should sit down. There's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. Your husband was found dead in his apartment this afternoon. Oh, God. No. Right now, we're working on the assumption of suicide. But we are investigating. You're safe now. Me and Esplin are finally safe. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could take it back. It's the worst thing I've ever done. And I loved him. I did. I love my son too. I would have done anything to keep him close. I just had no idea his father would. that he. I made one. Terrible mistake, and I ruined everything. I'll never forgive myself. Are you happy now, you bitch? The sun is starting to come up. I'm not going to make it.
you started all this. Holy Christ! Oh my God! The wolf is real! It doesn't have to be you. Shut your mouth, you fucking coward. Arrogantly, 
without a care. But it comes with a price. I couldn't save my marriage, and I couldn't save Espen, but he saved us. He protected all of us for a time. He was a little boy, my beautiful son. And I had to kiss him goodbye. I feel like my heart will never mend. He was better than me in every way I can think of. I don't know where he wanders or where he's going all alone. But wherever he is, I'm just... I'm so proud of him. I loved him so much, I ached. I love him still. Espen was my favorite thing. My best friend. And I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. But now, I can forgive Espen. I'm not going to pretend I was a good mother. But I raised a good son. Now, all I have to do is make sure his sacrifice meant something.